So my plane doesn't leave for London until 3.30 this afternoon. Now it's just gone uh, about quarter past 10 in the morning. So I've got a couple of hours to kill. And what I've decided is to come to a place called Finnick Glen, which is about 40 minutes out of Glasgow. And I'm gonna try and find this place uh, called the Devil's Pulpit. And it's got these incredible colors in it, reds and greens, you know, bright red water and all that type of stuff. What a better way to kill a few hours than to come here and do a photo shoot. So as far as the background is concerned with the Devil's Pulpit, it goes something a little like this. You see, back in the ye old days of witch hunts, angry mobs would drag the witch to the Devil's Pulpit, which was surrounded by large cliffs. Down below, a priest would stand upon the pulpit, casting his judgment whether she was officially a witch or not. If she was judged a witch, then the priest would say in a large bellowing voice, all right, chuck her in. If the witch died upon hitting the water, then the mob and the priest were wrong. She wasn't a witch, rather an innocent victim bestowed with evil spirits. But if she survived the fall, got up and started walking, then that proves she was possessed with evil powers and well and truly a witch. The priest would swiftly move off the pulpit, grab a club, and he would actually hit the witch to death finishing the job that the rocky waters couldn't do. So it was pretty much a no-win situation for old witchy poo. Now, if you really believe those tales, then good luck. How amazing is Scotland in autumn? Beautiful oranges and greens and reds on the ground. And of course, the bit of mud. But that's all part of the fun. Okay, so it looks like I've found the stairs that lead down to the Devil's Pulpit. It's quite steep. Now, these stairs are over 200 years old. Now, the great thing is there's a little bit of rope that you can hang on to. It's quite slippery. So, if you are going to attempt this, be very, very careful. Let's give it a go. What's with the eerie music? It's just a 200 year old staircase leading down into an abyss. <laughs> right, so I've made my way down and I finally found it. And right over there, just there, is the actual Devil's Pulpit. So what I'm going to do, thank goodness I've got my waders on, I'm actually going to walk up this stream here and I'm going to get a shot from just across the Devil's Pulpit and hopefully there'll be some nice water and a nice background there for me to get a shot. Okay. So I made it. I made it to the Devil's Pulpit. There were a few little hairy moments where it was quite dark water and I couldn't see. So what I did was, I pulled out my tripod, extended one of the legs and just stuck it in the water just to see how deep it was. As it was, it was pretty good because it was actually about knee deep. Another little use for a tripod. All these walls in this canyon are bright green. The Devil's Pulpit itself is almost like a, a giant toadstool, clay type toadstool but I've got incredible autumn leaves covering it. So I found my frame. I'm gonna set up here where I'm, I've got a bit of a waterfall just in front of me. I'm gonna use that as a lead in line going up to these other waterfalls in the background and I'm gonna have the devil's pulpit on the right hand side of frame. So just taking my camera out here at the moment. Oh, sorry I had to set you up all the way over there, but 
I couldn't really hold the camera and do my job at the same time. So, hi. Anyway, let's get set up, eh? So my setup, I've got my 16 to 35 mil lens on the front, my landscape polarizer, and I've also got a two-stop ND grad in the front just to take the edge off that top up there. So let's have a look through the frame. Just gonna make sure, yep, we're all good here. Uh, I'm shooting at an ISO of about 100. Just gonna turn that polarizer around just to take that glare off the water and those rocks. Yep, all good for focus. So I've got my devil's pulpit on the top right. I've got my little waterfall here right in the front. I might have to switch to a bit of a, a portrait shot yet, but I'm going to do this landscape to begin with. Uh, let's just do a test shot. So I'm going to have the self timer at two frame, uh, sorry, two seconds once I hit the shutter and let's have a look at this. And make sure everything's turned off, VR's turned off, focus is turned off because you don't want the focus going crazy and trying to look for it. Okay, manual focus and let's do this for a test shot. Oh, yes. Hey, that's looking all right. I'm just gonna, now one thing I forgot to do was I forgot to level my camera. Very important, so I switched to live view. Just get that level correct. Actually, I like this, it's looking okay. So let's get a shot here. So I'm at about F9 and I'm doing about the three second exposure. That's quite nice, the way the ghosting the ghosting is coming across this water here. Um, really leads the eye straight up to that next waterfall, right past the devil's pulpit here. Oh my goodness, I've just got light coming out here. Okay, I'm just gonna switch. Just gonna switch here up to a portrait mode and just see what I can get. Just getting that polarizer again, just to get rid of that glare off that water. There she is. I've got this beautiful, oh wow, I've got this beautiful autumn colors above me here. Okay, let's give it a shot here. Two second release after I hit the shutter button so I don't get any camera shake. Oh wow. That's, that's looking good, but It's just a tad overexposed in the sky. So I'm just gonna wind it back. I'm just gonna push that two-stop ND grad down a little bit. I'm just gonna wind back. I'm gonna switch up to about F11. Wind it back. And see how we go this time. Oh, that's better. See, now I've taken that top edge off the sky, but I've still got that beautiful autumn color up above me here. Oh, I'm happy with that. That's quite nice. Once again, I'm just gonna check something. I forgot to check my level, which of course it's off. Just leveling up. Yeah, I'll grab that shot again. I'm just gonna close my eyepiece here so I don't get any stray light coming in from the back. I'm just gonna try a little variation on my frame. Uh, get rid of live view. Just gonna tilt over this way, sorry, pan over this way, not tilt. Uh, just that way a bit, just so I can get a bit more of this water as a lead-in line. Just coming off the bottom left of my frame. And I'm just gonna, I get, I get so paranoid sometimes, I just double check my focus. Yep, that's all good. Okay, I'm happy with that frame. I'm gonna get that shot. Just close up my shutter again. Two second release after I hit the shutter. And that is pretty special. Awesome. 
Okay, it was worth getting these waders. I bought these waders all the way from Australia and it was worth it. You know, when I finish the shoot, I just like to take a moment just to stop and really enjoy and appreciate the environment I'm in. And I'm looking at this and looking at the light and just stopping to think about where I am. In beautiful Scotland in this incredible display of nature. So, so beautiful here. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it the thumbs up and also if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please do. So that's it from the Mighty Devil's Pulpit. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.